Monroe County settled a lawsuit filed by the parents of Josh Marshall, who died in the county jail. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation said the 40 year old Marshall died after a fight with guards in January of 2020. His parents say their son, who was diagnosed with schizophrenia, died after guards placed him in an illegal chokehold. The district attorney's office released portions of video showing the moments leading up to Marshall's death. We want to warn you, this video could be upsetting. So, what do we know about that night and what about the status of the settlement? Ashlyn Webb joins us in studio with more. Yes, in this lawsuit, the family asked for $5 million. We, of course, now know that this is, suit is settled, but what did Monroe County settle for? Court documents did not reveal how much the county paid. Our question, will Monroe County pay $5 million? County officials won't say. We reached out to Monroe County Sheriff Brad Freeman, County Manager Jim Hodges, and the County Attorney Ben Vaughn trying to get answers. While those questions remain unanswered, this is what we do know about the moments that led up to his death, allegations his family made in the lawsuit, and the outcome of a state investigation. This is video from Josh Marshall's holding cell minutes before EMS worked to resuscitate him. A lawsuit filed by the family last year says Josh was diagnosed with schizophrenia. And on the night of January 14th, 2020, when Josh was arrested for battery, his family says he was having a schizophrenic episode. The couple says Josh's father called the sheriff's office and asked deputies to take him to a mental health facility. According to the lawsuit, River Edge Behavioral Health, which had treated Josh for several years, said they would not admit him. His parents say jail officers failed to find another facility for him or give him medication. Instead, they took him to jail. They say Josh suffered more schizophrenic symptoms there, including punching and slapping himself as shown on surveillance. One of the guards released him from his cell without handcuffs. But when Josh refused to go back in his cell, the lawsuit says deputies put him in an unauthorized, illegal and lengthy chokehold that lasted a minute and a half. When he released him, the lawsuit states Josh was lifeless, limp and turning blue. Josh's parents say guards didn't try to provide any life-saving aid. A GBI autopsy report obtained by 13 WMAZ says Marshall died by homicide. His cause of death was listed as physical altercation with neck compression. Before this suit was ever in court, the GBI had already closed the investigation and passed the case to District Attorney Jonathan Adams. In Adams' letter to Freeman, he wrote, deputies acted lawfully and he wasn't going to present a case to a grand jury. Late this afternoon, District Attorney Adams released videos of the actual chokehold and the moments before Marshall's death. It is disturbing video and we are reviewing that video before reporting on it. By email, Adams wrote, quote, this case is a terrible testimony to the state of mental health and treatment in the U.S., but he would not comment further. Freeman also wouldn't talk about the case or the settlement, but by phone, he said his deputies did, quote, as right as they could. Frank, Lori. Thank you, Ashlyn. We also reached out to all Monroe County commissioners. Eddie Rowland responded and said they had not been told about the settlement.